Hello and welcome to this video for learning publisher exercise number 42 and so we're going to be working with creating mailing labels it might be you work for a business that has to mail out things a lot uh, it may be you have some kind of project where you're having to send out a lot of letters and so you want to make it simple of uh, you just make a mailing label that you can attach to your envelope instead of writing out your return address or writing out the other people's addresses uh, so multiple different, multiple different reasons and why you would want to use this today. So we're going to be talking about creating mail, mailing labels. We're going to talk about the mail merge basics, creating an address address list and publisher, which we've done before um, with other Word, uh, Microsoft applications, um, and then of course edit an address list and then set up mail merge with the wizard. So of course helping us through this experience. Of course, for you to do a mailing label, you got to go and move your mouse up here, click on built in. And then you're going to see it's not mailing label, or that's not the label for, uh, no pun intended, for the type of template. It's just called labels. And so if you click on that, um, it is assuming you can see here there's media labels, there's other labels here, blank sizes, and then of course mailing and shipping. And so all different types here that we can use. So I'm just going to go with this one for right now to show you. Of course, you can change the color scheme over here, font scheme, business information. Uh, like we said with other exercises so let's click create and you can see here it's zoomed in nice and big it's got our symbol over here and this one up here and then it has type address or use mail merge to automatically address this publication to multiple recipients so remember the idea of back in I think it was Excel that we use this a little bit and probably in Microsoft Word also um, but the idea that you can make a list of different people and their addresses to send it to and the way we would do that we would go to our mailings tab so you can see right now it shows mail merge it's set up for you can choose step-by-step -step mail merge and then of course it shows email merge if you want to send it through email and of course select recipients so if I want to make a list of recipients I can use an existing one if you use Outlook, you can choose from your Outlook contacts. And then, of course, this is the one you'll probably end up using and will use in the exercise today is type new list. And when you select it, you can see here it's got all this information for each person. What you end up doing is you just fill in this box, you push tab, and of course, you keep filling in each box, pushing tab, and then, of course, push enter, and it will create a new person, or you can select new entry. Okay. If you actually create somebody that you want to get rid of, you can choose delete. Of course, there's fine and also customize columns as well. And of course, columns is referring to up here. Each one of these is a field, aka it's a, basically a cell or a box you can put the information in. So if I were to make this list, I could be, click OK. It would have me save it as a file, and then I could go and use that and use the existing list to do that. So I have another one from a past exercise. We had chapter three of Word. I'm going to click open and you can see here's my information for it it's all nice and saved filled in and then of course uh, it shows my data source down here and then um, you could I could add more to it and then of course I can choose sort filter find duplicates all that click OK so if I were wanting to use this one I could do step-by-step -step mail merge over here and this is where uh, at if you haven't selected your address list it would have you do that first and then I can actually select what I want to have appear down here so if I wanted I could get rid of this text and now up here it allows you to click and drag on um, the code and the information so I could put title over here and first name and last name and that would fill up my first line and then I could push enter and I could go and put in the company name and I could push enter again and put the address line one on this next line and push enter again and push address line two so um, it's pretty simple it's easy to move them around to different spots you'll notice it's kinda of big here until I push enter so you may have to tweak things a little but otherwise I can click and drag and I can move them so if I want to move this one here say switch the address lines or anything like that I could do this now for us to create that merge one um, we can do it this way or we can select a greeting line these are kind of pre-formatted groups of code because you can see it shows up here as a code um, but when we make the actual merge it will end up showing it as the real information so I could choose address block and of course decide exactly what's in it see how it looks over here as a preview all that stuff
So we're going to leave it as is for now. We're going to click next so we can see it. It says, how would you like to produce your merged publication? So you can uh, print and make like a PDF and see a print preview of it. You can merge to a new publication so it creates a new file or you can add it to an existing one. So all those things. Uh, and it says prepare to follow up on this mailing list. You can print the recipient list, save a shortcut, export, all that. So it's pretty simple to do and we're going to get started doing that here in our exercise right now. So let's do that. First thing we do is we need to open up Publisher. If you haven't done that already, do that right now. We're going to go to built in for templates and of course we're going to labels like we did or I did earlier in this video. So labels and then we are going to use large Avery 5162 and that is the fourth one in my list large Avery 5162. For our colors we're going to be using the Technic color scheme so starting with the letter T so I'm just going to scroll down a little bit to T and looking for Technic right here. Then it says uh, the font scheme is basis. So right now I have its galley selected so I need to go up a little bit to the letter B basis right here. And then let's create it. So just leave the business information there. Whatever it is, it won't matter. Of course we click create. You can see it's a very plain address label. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to save it let's do that together so save browse you're saving to your folder or your flash drive do that first then put in the name 42 labels underscore your initials 42 labels underscore your initials and we save it and that says delete all the sample text from the label so I just click here and you can see it gets rid of it or it selects it all and it says create a new address list after we delete it so click push backspace button to empty this out and we're going to create that new address list and what I'm going to do here is I need to click on select recipients and type a new list and once you get this box up I'm going to show you a word document with the addresses you're going to put in so what I would do is when I show this to you and I'll do right now I would pause this here type in all the different people and then uh, go ahead and put you know pause it right here type it all in and then continue the video okay so um, I'm gonna go ahead and type these in here to the other one and continue but again if you need to go back to when I was showing it and type it in so and of course what you do is your title is just the mr. mrs. miss and then you push tab and you go to the next one so Thomas Reyes tab so this can go pretty quickly here Oh, I actually put, of course, make sure you put the things in the right box. So, for instance, I actually put um, the address line in the company name one. So, make sure you're doing it the right way. Pretty simple there. And after you do it a few times, you kind of get used to the setup. And then what I can do is I can either click, I think you can push enter. If that doesn't work, just click new entry and type in the next one. All right, there's mine. Okay, it looks like we can't push enter, so I'm just going to click new entry and continue on going here. So there's four entries that you need to type in. Make sure you get those. Try to double check the spelling as well. So I'm going to want to go back here and double check mine as well, too. Oh, hang on a second. Okay, and then we got one more to put inside of here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so here's our four. I'm kind of looking through and trying to double check quickly if I typed them in right, which it looks like that I did. And I'm going to click OK. Now, once you click OK, it's going to have you save it. You'll notice it goes to documents, my data sources. You can put it in there. Um, my recommendation would be to put it on your flash drive because you're going to be moving this from computer to computer. Um, so it's good to save it, especially if we need to use it for past exercise. So save it to your flash drive instead. What we're going to do is let's name it this. So 42 labels and then, of course, underscore your initials. So it's going to end up being this, and we're going to have that probably, it's more likely going to be an MDB file, um, but it won't end with the publisher. So I'm going to click Save, and now I have my address list right here. Uh, so you can see it's MDB for it. So this is what it should look like when all is said and done, and come up this way. All right, then what we're going to do is let's click OK and let's go to mail merge and we're going to start that step by step mail merge wizard. So mail merge wizard. And it says we're going to insert an address block. So address block. And it says for our address block, the tweaks we need to make, it says exclude the company name field. So right here where it says insert company name, we're going to uncheck that box. It says resize and move re, well slash move the resulting box on the label as needed. Okay, so we may have to adjust that on there. So let's it looks like the rest of this is okay. So let's click OK. And then what we're gonna do is let's select this because it says we need to format this to be 12 point aerial font. So you select the code, I just clicked and dragged across it. And it says to exclude. John Amos's record from the merge. So let's click edit recipient list. And what we do is right here you can see there's all these check boxes for which one we want to include. And we're just going to uncheck this box. Next to Amos, John Amos, and click OK. Then what we're going to do, so we've selected address block here. That's good. We're going to click the next create merge publication button. Okay, so let's try this. Let's do merge to a new publication. And you can see we got our three labels here. We're going to choose file print, Microsoft print to PDF. You'll notice it says three pages. We're going to choose print, and then we're going to save it here as 42 results underscore your initials. I already have a file with that name, so I'm going to click yes to replace it. You're just going to choose the print and then let's go take a look at our PDF and make sure that we've got everything on it. So you can see you've got three pages and of course it's got all our different labels just like that. Alright so let's continue on with the rest of the exercise. We still have one more file to make. So I'm going to close out of this one right here. I'm going to close out of 42 labels and there we go. All right, so we are making a new one. Let's click on built in and we're going to go to labels, except this time we're going to create a CD slash DVD label for your favorite CD or DVD. Okay, so favorite CD or DVD. So I'm just going to go, you can select either blank or classical or this, but it needs to be CD or DVD. So if you click on all media, um, it shows you more options here for what you can do. If you choose blank, you're going to have to add some things to it. Okay, So you're going to end up selecting one of these. Of course, choose a different color scheme, choose a different font style, all of that. When we click create, we're going to end up saving it here with the name. and I'm going to show you which one to save it as. So save and of course go to your folder or your flash drive and then we're going to name it 42 CD underscore your initials so 42 CD underscore your initials and voila it says create a new shipping label any design type your own name and address for the return address so you're going to need to add in a return address it says change different color scheme all that
And then of course it says select the data source file you created in this exercise. So when we're going and dealing with ma mailings, you go over here, you're going to select the list, choose use an existing list, and you're going to go to where you saved the last one. So this is mine right here. Here's my list. I'll click OK. And then of course it says place the native, na needed fields on the label for a mail merge. Place them one by one. Do not use address block. So that means you're going to have to do it this way. So I click mail merge step by step. And then what you do is you click and drag and bring it on to your um, publication. If you don't have a specific spot for you to put a mailing label on here, then just go and um, make one on the CD label. And then what you're going to end up doing is you need to format the codes to Time New Roman font. We'll see if publisher actually what gets out of this here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to save it again like how we did. So I would merge it to a new publication. Okay, so you're going to end up, I'm just going to make a new file and save it for you to see this here. You're going to end up saving this with the name. So you switch it to Times New Roman for your font. And then you're going to save it with the following name. So go to your folder. And you're going to name it. 42 ship underscore your initials. So 42 ship underscore your initials. And of course, you're making a PDF. So, really, um, I don't necessarily need the publisher file of 42 ship, but I do need the PDF of it. Okay. So, one or the other publisher or PDF would be okay. So, let's bring up the files here so you can see what you need for this exercise. I'm sorry, kind of cut out here for our publisher program towards the end. So for 42, we got, of course, we made our 42 CD. You have 42 ship as well. This can be publisher or it can be PDF. And then you also have 42 labels and 42 results as well. So um, when it comes to results and, of course, CD, again, it needs to be either the publisher file or the PDF. Either one can work. And of course, that's how you finish learning publisher exercise number 42.